Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is for all you wizard fanatics out there that are looking for a new exciting build. It's a perma stun slash perma teleport wizard. Um, basically, you know, all those builds out there, you know, no matter what class it is, uh, all those builds that revolve around so many pieces of gear that you need to find. This one actually revolves around one piece of gear. Uh, just one. It's uh, the Aether Walker. It's a weapon. Uh, basically, it gives you teleport. No longer has cooldown, but it will cost 25 arcane power. Okay, now, all you need is this weapon. That's it. Just throw it on, and I will show you the rest. Um, we'll start off with the skill. Well, I'll start off with the gear. Um, there's a couple different things here that uh, you can add to it. Um, basically... You understand here in a one in a second after I show you um, the the wid Widward um, the lightning damage has 16% chance to stun for 1.5 seconds. So whenever you don't stun the enemies, uh, you know this kind of helps out. You know, um, in this one, each stun enemy within 25 yards reduces your damage taken. Uh, this one's 11%. You can get better or you can get worse. It depends on your roll. Um, Basically, right now, those are the two pieces of gear that I use that kind of um, add to this stun build. Now, I'll show you this stun build, how this works with the skills. Go to teleport. Now, I think this is a brand new build, actually. I think I discovered this because the first day that Seasons came out, uh, I found that weapon. And I said, oh, no cool, cool down on teleport. Let's uh, look at the teleport skills. So, I... Uh, Came to came here and looked at the different runes for teleport, and I said, "Wow, look at this! Um, you can stun your enemies for one second when teleporting." So I was like, "Oh, let's check that out." So I put calamity on, and I ran with it, and it was amazing. I loved it right away. So let's let's go with uh, passive skills right now. Uh, I'm in T6 right now, uh, and I'm uh, I'm only doing a demonstration right now, so I'm not you know I'm not running with glass cannon and audacity or anything like that. I have blur on and dominance and just stuff that will keep me alive during the demonstration. So, teleport has no cooldown, right? But it does cost arcane power. It costs 25 per teleport. Um, and you're not working with too much arcane power here. So, you want to rely on maximum arcane power or um, arcane regeneration. Um, I kind of tend to run with the arcane regeneration. You know, some people... Some people, you know, they like to go to energy armor, energy tap. They, you know, it increases your maximum arcane by 20. See, I don't, I don't like that because it only gives you 20. It's not filling it back up. So, you know, I, I run with, uh, you know, the resistance uh, rune. So, I'll show you the passives. Um, basically, the only thing here that really helps your arcane is the astral presence. It gives you 2.5 arcane power per second and 20 uh, maximum arcane power. Um, that, that, that helps a good bit. Um, another thing that you can pick is the uh, paralysis. Lightning spells have 50% chance to stun all targets. So like sometimes whenever you're teleporting and you're trying and you're stunning the mobs, it, sometimes it doesn't work. Like, I think, you know, like maybe one out of 20 times that you teleport, like sometimes it doesn't work. So, like, when it doesn't, this is your backup. And, like, basically, uh, whenever you're using your lightning skills, um, it, it'll kind of uh, make up for those missed teleport stuns. Um, so you can run with paralysis if you want. Um, uh, Astral Presence and Paralysis. Now, Energy Armor, I told you, you can run with Energy Tap, but I don't do that. I have way too much um, Arcane Regeneration to be worried about that. So you can go to Familiar, Arcanaut, okay? While the Familiar is active, you gain 4.5 Arcane Power every second. That's a big, huge boost, okay? Uh, I think that's the biggest uh, regen that you can have as far as skills go. Magic Weapon Conduit. Um, enemies hit by your attacks restore up to 3 arcane power, so every time you hit an enemy, you gain 3 arcane power. Um, electrocute. I run with Electrocute, um, secondary skill. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I like it. It's a, you know, it gains your arcane back faster, it hits multiple targets. I like it. So, um, basically the rune I'm running with is gain 1 arcane power for each enemy hit. Um, 
that's a big help because I think you know it hits like three three targets at the same time, so that's three arcane power for how fast, however fast you're attacking with it. Okay, and in my opinion, I run with arcane torrent. I think you know I'm an arcane wizard, so I think this does the biggest damage as far as the arcane skills go. Uh, let's see here. Well, it's uh, the teleport skill, yeah, and calamity. I showed you all this. Okay, we're pretty much done with the skills. Um, I showed you the gear. You know, here's another ring. It's you know, a 16% chance to stun. Um, that's another thing. Just like your paralysis here. You know, just just a backup for whenever you don't stun. Now, whenever you are stunning the mobs, I, I I told you how you know sometimes it doesn't stun. This also goes for the unique monsters. The unique monsters have some type of um um natural resistance to stunning. Uh, it's very hard to stun them. So that extra stun there, that extra fifteen percent chance stun on on these, like actually really does help to keep those guys stunned too. Now this this build, it's not really meant for a solo build like how I'm running right now because it's not too big of a damage build. As you can see, I don't have that much damage here. Um, I mean, I do have better. I do have better gear. You know, like I could switch this out. And, like I have a bunch of different gear here that can really boost up my damage. I get up to like I think uh, 1.3 million damage. I think. But right now, like I said, this is just a demo. Uh, I don't want to die while I'm doing a demo, so um, you know, I'll just I'll just run with my tank gear. Okay. Now, you see, I'm, I'm teleporting, and I'm stunning as I'm teleporting. You see how good it works? Um, as I was saying, you know, it doesn't do too much damage as far as solo. This is more for a public um, preference because, you know, as you're stunning, you can actually... Um, damn, I'm dying. I'm oh, sorry. That's just a demo anyway, guys. Um, I should probably die here, but um, yeah, it's it's more for like a public kind of thing. Um, basically, while you're stunning, you can have your teammates do all the damage and all the killing. Um, I actually had a few people come in one day and they were like, "Oh man, who's who's doing this AOE stunning?" And I was like, "Yep, that's me." And they were like, "Wow, that's cool, buddy. Like, that's uh, how'd you do that?" And that's not all the wizards that come in. They were asking me how I did it. I taught them all the build. They love it. Um, so I figured, you know, I would come on uh, YouTube, put a YouTube video up for you guys that are interested in in uh, in this build. <coughs> uh, just give a little bit more of a demo here. Oh, goblins! By the way, goblins, you cannot stun goblins. You cannot stun goblins. Okay. That's just a fact. Oh, okay, let's go up here now. You see, as you're electrocuting, how fast your arcane power goes up. Now, I have so much arcane power regen that you really don't need all this. I was just showing you all the different arcane regens that you can have. Okay, you can actually uh, switch out, like, uh, per se, like this uh, magic weapon conduit. You can actually switch the conduit out for the one that gives you 20% damage. Um, or like the familiar here, you can actually switch that out for the 10% damage rune. Um, but you know, I was just showing you different ones. Um, you can see that I am electrocuting as I'm stunning. The reason why I'm electrocuting as I'm stunning is while I'm teleporting, you know, the arcane power goes down. Well, if I'm holding down the electrocute at the same time as I'm teleporting, um, it actually really doesn't go down at all. Um, it stays full. So, um, with with all the regen that I have right now, it's totally unnecessary. But depends on what you're doing. It might not be so unnecessary at all because when you have that much, you can actually hold down your primary uh, arcane power spender, which in my case is arcane torrent. You can hold arcane torrent down, as you can see here. I'm holding it down while teleporting. Okay, look at my arcane power regen it's going up it's going up just as fast as it's going down so you can I, I, you, this is actually a good build for solo runs if you want it to be um, 
and all it takes, you know, if you are out, all it takes is a couple, a couple blasts with your uh, lightning to get it back up. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you keep the stun. I mean, as you can see here, look, they aren't even moving. I'm keeping them stunned. Uh, as you see, I'm not using lightning as I'm teleporting, so I ran out of there. But um, see, it's going up just as as fast as I'm uh, losing it. So that's the uh, perma stun, perma teleport build. Um. I hope this build helps you guys out. Um, if you like the video, uh, then uh, give it a like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll probably be coming out with new videos. Uh, so subscribe. Uh, have a nice day, guys.
I am returning to town. 